it's Zena, we're talking princess, and welcome to What's in My Bag. This one features the Jujube B Light. This is a tote style bag. It is, in fact, aptly named because it is quite light. It is unstructured, so you can make it super tiny, but it does also have some really great features. It has a decent strap drop, fits very nicely on my shoulder. Generally, though, I do prefer crossbody, so. This will be my first time actually using this as a purse rather than just to carry around things. So um, let's talk through that, the process. The straps themselves are double layered and they do have a little bit of pad to them. Um, they're unquilted, but they have like um, a little bit of quilt batting in there or whatever. Um, and it does come with loops on the side. I added these quick release rings on there and I did that so that I could more easily hook on a crossbody strap. It does have two pockets on the front. Both of them are full length there, which is really nice. So you can put a water bottle or any other large items or a bunch of small items, frankly. It works quite well. So there's that. There's no pockets on the back or sides. Pretty straightforward, very simple. On the inside, this is the newer version of Queen of the Nile pattern. Um, it's just a black and white chevrons you can see there and it's chevrons in stripes so they're um, opposite directions kind of cool anyway um, inside the newer version this is version two if you will is a silver the inside of the older version is more of a gold color or gold or champagne and anyway, i think it's gold but anyways this one does have a privacy pocket and it's a good size it goes about halfway down the back of the bag but the inside is otherwise just plain of course, Jujubee is machine washable and waterproof, stain resistant and antimicrobial treated. So I love that about that. And I love this bag that it's slouchy, so I really could just throw it in the washing machine and give it a good wash. So anyway, let's dive into straps first. <clears throat> I do have some other Jujubee bags in this print. So I have this other strap. It is a messenger strap that is by GGB. It's an older version of Queen of the Nile, but as you can see, it's the same exact pattern. Um, but I extended it all the way out, and for me, this I think will work for the length. What I don't like about this strap is that this pad piece is not movable. It's actually sewn on right there. Um, so you can disassemble it, take it apart, whatever, but um, I don't even know if the strap goes all the way through, honestly, but it's sewn in place. The good thing about it is, well, there's a pad, that's nice, and it has a little bit of a sort of no-slip grip on there. It's not as grippy as Lug's um, rubber thing there, but, or I guess it's silicone, not rubber, but anyway, it does kind of still help a little bit. All right, these are quick-release hooks on the end. So they hook right on and they are on a swivel so you don't have to worry about getting it exactly right. Just put it on and straighten it after. Other thing is this has gold hardware on the outside. That may seem odd. I didn't have any gold rings. I don't really care that there's a mismatch there because it's not super drastic and it's so small. Who cares? But even though the inside silver, the outside is a gold plate. So it actually does totally match old and new versions. <clears throat> The other thing I don't like about the strap is the way that it adjusts. Because the pad is central, um, you adjust a little bit from either side, which is sort of interesting, but anyways, it works. So if I put this on cross body, it hangs really low on my hip, which is exactly where I like it. I could raise it up slightly, but honestly, I just like it nice and low. I have a rough leaf shirt, sorry, but you can kind of just see. So I might even raise it up a little, but for now, I'm gonna leave it where it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have a matching strap that's like no kidding matchy matchy or I also have the option of the black and gray woven strap which I purchased separately and these are available they're actually on sale um, right now all the straps I think pretty much and I like this strap a lot actually and I seriously considered it just to break up all that black and white because it does even though it's a gray kind of it works. But I decided instead, I'm gonna stick with totally matchy-matchy today. So, brace yourselves, you're about to see a lot of Queen of the Nile. Um, so, there it goes. All right, 
first we'll set the bag aside and go through other things. The first thing is, um, I think it's called the Be Moved. I think so. Um, sorry, I took the tag off because I'm using it now for the first time. But this is an insert, like a tote insert. You can also use it in backpacks. It is by GGB. It is, you know, perfect size for the Be Light. There is a larger one that is um, for the Super Bee, which is the larger tote version. But this one is, in fact, for this. So let's look at this real quick before I put it in. It's got a big slip on the front and back. Inside, it has lots of pockets. It has two mesh up here, two down here. And it has two big mesh on the opposite side and a privacy pocket on top. That privacy pocket goes, again, um, actually about two thirds of the way down the bag, so it's pretty good size. And then on the sides of each, there is also a mesh pocket on the side. So a lot of options. Um, I don't necessarily think I need to use all of those options, but I am going to put it in my tote just to give the bag a little bit of structure. It does add a little bit of weight, but it's to me it's negligible. Um, and yes, the interior of this one is that gold or champagne color. I don't care. Um, it's fine. And actually, when I look inside it, it's real easy to tell if I'm inside the bag or outside the bag. So it just gives you these layers and layers of organization. But what I like about it, like I said, is it gives it a little bit of structure. Now there's nothing in the bag and the um, insert is actually trained in a fold at the bottom for storage. So uh, it, once I put things in there, it will actually stand up. It, it is standing up hands-free here. So that'll be a nice option rather than just total slouch. Okay, other Queen of the Nile items that could be used. I have the Be Cool. Um, yeah, that would actually fit in there, but it wouldn't leave much room for anything else. This is an insulated pouch, a bottle pouch, if you will. Um, not a lot of organization, but great bag. I use it in my backpacks and travel bags, but not so much for the Be Light. I have two other small bags. I have the Mini BRB and the Mini BFF. These are both great as a standalone purse, or you can wear them as a backpack. You just rethread the strap. Both are really great options. I have several of both of them, but I don't really need it inside there. I have other pouches, so I'm gonna put those aside. Oop. Now, let's talk wallets. I actually do have the Queen of the Nile Be Rich wallet. It is a trifold style wallet. Lots and lots of card slots. I have used these before. Um, I've actually used this one because I have a Be Classy that I used it with, but yeah, so it has the big cash drawer on the bottom, card slots, card slots, and more card slots. On the back, it is a snap closure, first of all, sorry. On the back, there's a zipper pocket. It goes over and around, and it is gusseted on both sides, so it opens up really nicely. But I use a separate coin purse anyway. Happen to have that in Queen of the Nile as well. Um, the Jujube coin purses are not purchasable through Jujube but you can get them when you spend $100 or more through a lot of their smaller retailers. And you can also find them on eBay and Mercari and whatnot. That's where I've got most of mine from. Um, okay, I also have a keychain. Now this is the only thing that is not matchy matchy because it is not GGB, it is Vera Bradley. It's a plain black loop keychain. This is the factory style loop. It's Black microfiber with a inner is like a black nylon seatbelt, sort of. But it's a soft, you know, whatever. Um, but in a bag like this where I might have the keys just thrown in there in a big pocket or in the main thing, maybe, I don't know. But it just makes it easier to find. And also, when you have them out, you know, allows you to just be hands-free with your keys if you're running around in the grocery store with just your keys in your wallet, that kind of thing. So I might put that in there. I have the B-Set which once again is the newer version. You could tell because it has a silver interior, but there are three pouches. So you've got the large, the medium, and the small. So pretty good chance all three of those might get used in here. It does come with straps. I probably will put the wristlet on one of them. I probably won't take the larger, longer one, but I might. I also have to be quick. But this bag isn't really big enough and has plenty of its own organization, especially with the insert. So I'm not gonna use the Be Quick, but the Be Quick does come with a short and long strap as well. 
Also a great standalone bag by itself. And this, this is actually um, Itsy Ritzy, which is another baby bag brand. I don't have a lot of stuff from Itsy Ritzy, but when I was just starting out with Jujube and I discovered this pattern, which I liked, I saw this, which is basically the same pattern. It's a slightly smaller scale, but the same pattern. It's also a different material, so it looks a little bit more fuzzy. It's not, it's, it's very nice. But what this is, is kind of like the Be Organized, I think it's called. It's just pouches, so they're like packing cubes, if you will. They're very nice, good size, great for a backpack or other travel type bags. So the two larger ones, I for sure won't use. I like that they have handles on them though, because that just makes it easy to grab them out of the bag. But I may, I don't know, I may find a use for the smaller one, like, I don't know, we'll see. So I'll just set that aside as well. And there you go. So let's move out of the old bag. The old bag was the Hadley backpack from Vera Bradley in the winter berry. So I'm gonna take things off. I am gonna use the hand sanitizer since it is plain black. And I'm not gonna take the AirPod pouch, but I am gonna take the chap sticker. It's an EOS lip balm out of it, cause I need that. The front pocket had my tech stuff, but I changed it up yesterday. I have some trail mix. I have a mask and a screen wipe. And that's it. I have keys in both side pockets. I have truck key and mail keys. And then I have the rest of my keys. And my shopping tag bag charm. In the back pocket, or what would be the tablet or tech section, I have my Splits XL from Lug. And I had my coin purse in Stitch Flowers. And definitely moving out of all that. The main pouch, oops, I had some medicine in there yesterday. I've got sunglasses, I've got miscellaneous pouch, I've got cards, masks, a pen, a manicure kit, nothing in the back pocket, nothing in the bottom. Okay, so that is it for this bag. I do need to change some things out. I will change the manicure kit. I don't have Queen of the Nile, and Jujubee doesn't make this sort of thing, but I do have a black and white version um, Holland Garden, so I will grab that, but we'll leave this in as a placeholder. I have some masks. I probably will change those out to different, but these are all clean and unused, so maybe I'll keep them in here and just take them out of that pouch. This one I didn't use either. Um, cards, now the cards won't fit very well in the coin purse. Where did that go? Oh, right in front of me. They don't fit in a well because the card case part is big enough, but the opening is not that great. So let's try it, but I don't think it's optimized for it. Oh, I take that back. <laughs> they fit in better than, they all have a little bit different size opening. So some of the coin purses may fit things better than others. But that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> That's the truth. Um, but that's the same kind of for Zip IDs. I was using the Gen Zip, but so I've got my sister's color street. I've got my two business cards, and we'll just put those in there with the compliment cards and just have it be one giant card case. There you go. So that will go in there. We'll figure out where to put everything in a minute. For sure, I'm changing wallets, but that I can do after. Got the keychain, so let's just plug that in. So I've got truck keys and mail keys. I'll hook those on the loop. Got the main keys, which probably I don't need the big carabiner for since I have all this. Just put them all on the loop. And now, there we go. So one big gaggle of keys. Snack can stay. Okay, coins. Now, theoretically, I was gonna use the coin purse for coins. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'll use the wallet for the coins and I'll just put these in the jar of coins <laughs> and not use separate coins. There's more coins, there's coins everywhere. If something costs a dollar one, I'll pay $2, take all the change and throw it in the jar. It's a great way to have a little side savings thing going because I don't reach in there and just leave it alone. All right, oh, also good for kids. If you have kids and they like to go through, well, I collect coins. I still have my state quarters thing going, anyway. 
There you go. So coins in the coin thing. I'll figure the rest out later. Phone, sunglasses. I will go find. I do have, again, I have Holland Garden, so I will change to that. I will change to a black and white pen. So sorry I didn't bring all that out. I'm uh, a little disjointed today. That's okay. I will do that after. In here, this is my catch-all. I have mints, dental floss, toothpicks, hand lotion, more mints, gum, more mints, some um, Aleve and some Tums, just in case, um, glucose tabs, and three Listerine breast strips, and that's empty. So, this should be really easy. So the decision is, do we want to use a bunch of pouches that are matchy-matchy, or do I want to just use the mesh organization in here? Honestly, I think a little bit of both. So let's start with manicure kit. I'm gonna put in the bottom of the, the small ones and the business card one, I'm gonna put right above that. And keys, hmm. Keys I think I'm just gonna put in the bottom. You know what, I'm gonna separate them. Because the ones that I use all the time, I need the truck and the mail key. The rest of them kind of mostly stay in the bag. And the truck one, I don't even have to pull out to drive, but I'll put it right at the top because when I need my mail key or I'm going to the dog park, I pull that out separate. So now all four pockets, um, all four small pockets on that side are filled. So I've got business cards, truck key, mail key, I've got rest of the keys and the manicure kit. So four pockets filled and plenty of room in the bag. So wallet, I think I'm gonna put in the side slot right here, the big mesh on the opposite side, fits perfectly and it will always be accessible. Hand sanitizer, I'm gonna hook right on this front loop. So there we go, I always have that handy. Chapstick I usually want handy. Um, <laughs> I think I'll just put it in the top pocket there with my truck key. That's fine. Phone will go in the outside pocket. Just gonna slide it right in. And so will the sunglasses, I think. No. Sunglasses can go inside. They don't even have to go in the side pocket, but I think I'm, no. I'm just gonna put them right down the middle. Right down the middle. So this is out. So now we just have masks, snacks, a pen, and miscellaneous. The tech stuff, what tech stuff? I have my screen wipe. I usually have external batteries because as you know, my phone is getting old. So I do have to carry chargers, uh, at least a charger, um, a cord, a, a plug, and a battery. So I will throw that in here. I'll probably just put that, um, in one of the mesh pockets instead of carrying an extra pouch. But let's see, I think maybe the medium pouch might be sufficient for pretty much all of this. Let's see, let's just try and toss it in. It doesn't have to be organized or do I want it to organize? Mm, no, it can just go in there. So, as soon as I jiggle it all squared up, it is perfect. So that fits very nicely, and I'm just gonna put that in the other mesh pouch. So the only thing down the middle so far is my sunglasses, because I have my wallet, my medium set piece, and all the other pouches, and then the sunglasses. So that's nice. And then I just have snacks, which can go in the side pocket. There you go. Tech can, let's see here. I think this is going to be my tech pouch because my batteries, my plug and whatnot will fit here. I know this from previous experience. Take the silica pouch out. Got that and I'm gonna use the short strap and use it like a wristlet. So you just hook both ends to the same loop. There you go. So that'll be my little tech pouch, and that is right in the middle. Sunglasses, tech pouch, and masks. I may just go ahead and put my masks in here. 
Okay. So masks will go in the itsy ritzy small piece. I think that'll fit perfectly. Just they need to be folded, yeah. Put a bunch of masks in there. You always need masks. I have a big bag of them in my car, in my truck, but this way, if you forget to grab it getting out, because nowadays you don't need them for every single place you go. So I just have this little itsy ritzy pouch with masks in it and I'll just put it right down the middle as well. So it's very not crowded. Um, there's plenty of room for more. I, I'm definitely using the organization, but also do need the pouches in the middle. I need, right? Um, but then I have a pen, so I'm gonna change that out later. But for now, I'm gonna put it right in, where am I gonna put it? Um, I'll put it in the side and I'll just clip it onto the wall of the Be Moved. Be Moved or Be Switched? One of them is the this one and one of them is the larger one. I have both. I think this one is Be Switched. Be Moved or Be Switched, they're both the inserts. Sorry, I, I, I'll figure it out and I'll put it in the, the remarks down below. Okay, so I just have the pen clipped on the side so it's inside the bag and it's also into that mesh pouch, so it's not gonna flail all over the bag. I, I know exactly where it is, so that'd be good. Yeah, so I still have pockets um, <laughs> that aren't being used on the outer edge, so like I said, there's definitely more room. This bag really does hold a lot. So if I was to, you know, babysitting or had a kid in diapers, there's still room to put, I mean, the, the two front pockets are both open well, one of them is, my phone's in there. But inside you have lots of organization. You have space, you have a slip pocket on both sides. So, yay! And that is what's in my bag. Hope you're having a great day. Enjoy your week, bye for now.